They all took their hats off and waited. Just waited. We were more than kings. We were the mob. Greetings. My name is Peter Alexander. In this video, I'm going to run you through the process of using Aculips in iClone's lip sync technology to animate a laughing Buddha type character I created. I recorded my voice using Audacity, an audio manipulation application, and altered the audio's pitch. My name is Hote, but you probably know me as the Laughing Buddha. I'll save it as an MP3, which is supported by iClone. I've already done most of the character's movements using elements from our previous project, as I wanted to focus on AccuLips and lip syncing features in this video. In iClone, I'm going to go to Animation and Create Script. Choose AccuLips and import the saved audio. Once AccuLips finishes analyzing the audio, you'll see any words it doesn't quite understand in red, which can be manually corrected. You can then realign the text to the audio to generate the appropriate vizemes. Aculips will analyze the audio and attempt to approximate the words into text. I find it's about 80 to 90% effective and requires only minimal adjustments. I'm adjusting the text now so that it will produce better vizemes when applied to the character. When you apply the Aculips data to the animation, it will produce various vizemes to accompany the audio. Selecting the audio portion and its accompanying text will allow you to better align them for animation. After applied to the character, I then go through the timeline and if I want a sound to be emphasized or replaced with the lip sync, I click on the Vizim indicator to adjust it. You can keep the lip editor open as you go through the timeline to make things easier to adjust. I'm going to time lapse this portion because I'm repeating the same process over and over again. The key point is that you want to emphasize vizemes at certain points during the animation. If the dialogue emphasizes a sound, the animation should as well. If you choose to render in Blender, you want to do two things. 
First, export the audio from the range of the video. Then select the character and export the FBX from the same range. This will ensure that the audio and animation are in sync. In Blender, use the Blender Auto Setup add-on, located in the CC3 tab, to import the FBX as a character. The clothing has a slight issue. The normals are not calculated correctly. In edit mode, I'm selecting the various meshes and choosing the average face area option to set the normals as they should be to avoid any visual issues. In the CC3 tab, click the Range from Character option to set the proper animation range for the timeline. To, to import the audio, I'm temporarily splitting my window and opening up the video sequencer. Right click and select Sound to import the audio file. If you don't hear any audio, go to the Preferences, go to System, and then check your sound settings. If you select the Playback panel on the timeline, you can enable scrubbing so you can hear audio as you go through your animation timeline. The CC3 panel has seen options for setting up lights, which you can further refine. With a camera in the scene, you can select Camera to View to align your viewport to your camera. Select the camera icon to toggle preview and camera view. While looking through your camera, you can add keyframes to your camera if you have auto keyframe enabled. You can import and export camera animation through the FBX file format, although sometimes I find the occasional glitch when doing this. So I usually just create the camera sequence in the program I'm using. To save the animation as a video, go to the Scene tab, 
go to output and choose to save it in a video format rather than as an image. Also remember to choose an audio encoding option. If you plan to do some compositing, you can set up a green screen or save this video with a transparent background. I realized a little late that I had the wrong rendering dimensions, so I'm adjusting them and re-keying my camera. I also noticed that the micronormals were stretched out due to the elongated earlobes on this character, so I adjusted them in the skin parameters area of the CC3 tab. Now with everything set up, I'm going to choose Viewport Render Animation rather than the full render. This will render everything as they appear in the EV Preview Viewport. I'm going to skip recording the rendering process and show the final video. <laughs> oh, hello there. I was just practicing my laugh. My name is Hote, but you probably know me as the Laughing Buddha. Or the fat Buddha. Though I'm not actually a Buddha at all. I'm more like a symbol of good luck and fortune. I'm so famous there are statues of me all across the world. And with that I'm going to end this video. I hope it was beneficial in some way. I'm Peter Alexander. Thanks for watching.